see what happens. Gonna ramble on as if it'll upload and as if somebody will show up. Saturday night, March, March 14th. That's a good thing. Is the chat working? It's working. Yeah. Just came out in from outside. The Big Dipper is right whoop, whoop, over the house. That's a nice thing. Anybody, anybody, anybody. I think I see one person. It's okay if you don't show yourself. That's your choice. Oh, that way. Hey, way. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I don't have my West Coast necklace on. I took it off earlier. Damn. Darn, darn, darn. How you doing? <sighs> Got my lucky charms. My, I don't know how to visualize and, um, uh, you know, set the intention of protection and sending love everywhere while well, you wrap yourself in it. My New York hat. Got California on me. Ireland. I, yeah, I'm doing good. It's been a special day. Very, um, I woke up and I was like, oh, like, um, I don't know, it was like this wave came through and, um, one other person mentioned it today and she's also someone who's like me who tends to feel things a little bit before the collective and so was kind of asking, has anybody else felt this way? You know, getting up today, she's Eastern time as I am and it was like yeah thanks for mentioning it because it was like a a wave of like I just I woke up like sad and just like Bleh. and uh yeah Ireland and uh I let it flow through and pass through I even made a video and then when I make videos I don't fight with them if they choose not to upload I don't you know see it as like Bleh whatever I see it really as like it's just not meant to be right so I kind of purged myself purged myself in a video and uh, I didn't end up uploading <clears throat> and it was like just for me um, I guess to s make sure I said it out loud and to um, you know raise my vibe uh, without um, necessarily um, trying to bring anyone into it or like right now my role is to make sure the vibe is elevated and uh, I wanted to show myself anyways to show that like you know it's not all sometimes sweetness and roses and it's like you, know, you can feel yucky too but like I said it didn't upload and uh, really the feeling passed through very quickly after I let it out so that was cool and then uh, I know you saw my my white hat video that way and, um, that's, uh, it's hot. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's been a long time coming, but at the same time, it was never time. And, uh, it felt really good to, uh, say the things out loud that, uh, I felt like saying. 
yeah. Nothing is as it seems, right? And uh, because everybody's got knowledge and educated themselves, there's, you know, different perspectives. And um, that's my perspective. And yeah. So that's it. Yeah, I got some other stuff around. I got some, got Thailand with us too right now. Uh, sending love and balloon type. Germany too. And uh, just sending love out everywhere. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on. I'm kind of tired, but at the same time, it's like uh, I seem to be um, waking up uh, around 8, 9, 10 o'clock and being very wide awake, not sleeping very early. May not be all roses, but you should make it look like it. Yeah, but um, I've also, uh, you know, shared the other stuff too. But in general, um, in general, I, I am a high frequency, high vibe. It's thing that can piss people off about me, or has in the past. Just too happy. Stop being so happy. Why are you so happy all the time? And I say that, and sometimes I think, like, really that's outsider's perspective because, like, I don't know if my family would say that about me. I'm more, um, did you ever see the movie Uncle Buck? That way. Do you remember Uncle Buck? Oh, you don't watch movies. Did you watch movies back in the day, in the 80s and 90s? You're gonna go poo now? You know, just plain old water and your freaking hand and you wash your hands after. I've been a mom, right? So nothing can gross me out. Uh, I've been a mom three times and I've had stepchildren and I had teenagers who, you know, uh, had experiences with alcohol that weren't pretty and I was the mama bear that got up in the middle of the night and went to pick up the drunken children, teenagers, you know, so... Um, I've picked up the poop, I've sopped up the puke, I've done everything, so uh, really it doesn't, toilet paper's not a big deal. Plus I'm a hiker and a camper and uh, you know me and Lily li like, live literally, literally like three and a half, four months this summer uh, on the road. Uh, yeah, Papa squat a lot on the road and uh, it really isn't a big deal. Not to me anyway. Poop is poop. Shit happens. Yeah, Lily is um, my biggest gauge right now of the energies. And uh, one thing, uh, I'm not sure what you look at, you know, other like than the places I see you that way. But um, keep a lookout. Uh, you know the, um, well, I don't even know if you are aware, but um, especially last January was one that, you know, I have documented proof of from I forget if he was a physicist or whatever his name was Michael I have him in my stuff I used to write to him but he never bothered answering because you know I the way I speak a physicist wouldn't answer me not in a bad way I'm saying that but yeah um so what I'm trying to get at is that I feel that if it hasn't already happened that uh there's going to be or there has been a pole shift where the nautical charts will be changed and they can't hide that um well they can I guess maybe especially right now but um i'm feeling that if the nautical charts haven't been changed in the last three days then uh, it's upcoming so you remember uncle buck you remember the teenager girl yeah that's me that's how my family saw me when i was a kid and probably still now sometimes it's not the same with them now nah, they wouldn't think that about me now they just think i'm really quiet or that I talk too much about stuff that they don't understand, so I just shut up. I'm not one to, uh... Yeah, you know. <laughs> what time is it for you? If it's 11.16, I guess we started the live. I started the live around 11.11-ish. 11 
Actually, I started at about 11. <clears throat> yeah, Uncle Buck. Do you remember Uncle Buck? I got my red Bronco outside. It's red. With the toothpick. Oh, that's sweet. Have and help always had everything I want. And I need it every moment. Yeah. That's the best way to look at it. There's a lot of that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, be careful what you wish for. You know, what you think you want versus what you actually need. And what's, you know, for your greatest and highest good versus your things that you put out there and uh, are not for your greatest and highest good. I, uh, I learned in my 30s to um, make sure to annul my wishes, and um, I wish I would have learned that earlier. Again, everything happens in due time. I wish I would have learned it earlier because that's the thing about a wishy. You, you wish for something, and then your life completely changes, and you don't remember that you made that wish because you know, and then it happens, and it's like, what the heck's going on? Like, this is what I wanted like two years ago but I'm not the same person anymore. Now it's like right in front of me and like, me don't want that. So yeah, be careful what you wish for. Careful what you wish for cause you just might get it. Yeah, I see four people and the one is like out and about and, and commenting. What else was I saying? Yeah, so I was saying earlier, uh, I got Ireland, I got California, I got New York, New York, New York. Never been to New York, but if things keep going the way they are, I'm going to be able to go wherever I want. Trixie! I'm not sure which B Billie Eilish song you mean. I don't always know the names to the songs, like the artist's name or the performer or the singer that goes with the song. Hey, SS. Sup. Sup, sup, sup. What time is it for you in Florida? Oh, Nova. I'm glad I'm here too. I was just, you know what? I was like tired and then I got a boost of energy and I was like, man, go share that energy. And um, I like to do that thing where I kind of um, am saying inside me before I start doing it, kind of sending it out to you guys that I'm gonna 1020 thanks SS that I'm gonna do a live so um, uh, practicing the heart call right instead of texting and saying hey I'm going live um, which is kind of cocky in a way like but is it I don't know yeah I, w I was saying or um, at the beginning when I was like alone almost um, Nova that um, I woke up feeling very sad and just um, uh, you know after fairies um, meditation last night when I was done the meditation um, I thought I would sleep but Lily Rose uh, couldn't sleep so uh, it's like it's crazy what time this morning we fell asleep um, but I had a I had a thing here and during the meditation uh, I wasn't crying. I didn't feel emotional at the time, but my left eye, this is my left, right? Uh, my left eye was watering. So I think that, um, I think, no, after having kind of, you know, kind of looked at it this morning and let it pass through, I know that her meditation brought up some things in me and um, in a good way, um, but I didn't expect don't expect um I didn't expect to wake up this morning feeling like sad and just like yeesh because the night that we had uh we were in glitches uh live I forget now because he did one last night too he did like a triple header without like really planning it or meaning to um but um when I woke up the next morning like from glitches uh live stream that night I was like whoosh Lots of dreams too. I sent them to glitch.
I don't mean to like do that thing where I look down, but I'm using double um, devices again to make sure I don't uh, make sure I can see the comments. Uh, if because just that's the way I've found to sustain my live stream. Hey Tom, you just woke up and I'm on. Wow, if it's only 11:30, I'm gonna use my finger. 11:30. Wow, you just woke up at 3.30 in the morning. That's like the witching hour time. For no wonder I did it at this time. Welcome, Tom. I'm glad you're here. You're going out on a boat, SS? What kind of boat? Like, awesome. Like, are you going like fishing? Or are you just going like, are you going like to see alligators? When you see an alligator, you gotta tell me, okay, SS? Because um, my, my sister was in Mississippi. One of the first things she did uh, was go kayaking in a plastic uh, uh, inflatable kayak to go look for alligators with a, a local ski boat. Wee! Have fun! I'm gonna think about ya. I love being on the water. I prefer kayaks the best because your butt's like right in the water well not in the water but on the water you actually feel it like you know around you and uh i love sailing and uh really uh uh one of my i, I would live on a houseboat or a sail sailboat like in a heartbeat yeah yes Nova says, I didn't get to do the meditation. Family came over, but watched the beginning. Yeah, meditations too sometimes just like, um, it's, I don't know. We're always where we're supposed to be, even if it doesn't feel like it at the time. And um, it's not always meant for that to be there. You know what I mean? I hope you had fun with your family, that it felt nice. It's like these times of these in-between times where it can either be amazing or not so I, I hope it was awesome for you Nova just got back from the Milky Way SS I hope it went well in there I didn't go check that hey 5d Mike how's it going thanks for coming in guys there's seven people that I see I'm not sure if I've missed anybody to say hello kind of thing When's the last time you saw an alligator then? I just tend to have like that thing because I, you know, my owls are like an alligator. <laughs> it's not marks on my hand. It's, um, I, uh, I'm kind of surrounding myself with my stuff that's from around the world. So I got, um, I had the cap on, but my, I'm like, wow. So I, I can't keep it on. I got my Cali shirt on that's from California. I got rocks from Thailand. I've got the Atlantic right here. I've got Arizona. And I've got um, Turkey, literally from Turkey. And I've got um, Italy. My sister got this for me from Italy. And uh, this uh, specifically, um, I, I wanted to grab it just uh, for the protection, the energy, and the, the love I'm sending out. And um, in regards to the video that uh, Jen, I'm not good with how many days ago. To me, it already feels like five or six, maybe a week ago, but I think it was just yesterday. The video that she posted where they were, you know, um, singing and in the street, each from their inside their dwellings. Uh, that was beautiful. I had seen that in the early well, not early morning, but I had seen that in the morning and uh, I love that Jen It was a sink that she saw it and was so moved by it and then made a video with it Yeah, so It ain't about you know, um, it's about well, it is about Jesus, but um, just protect send love everywhere. Trixie says, I woke up all day with my left eye messed up like a finger was in it all night and watered all day and it was random. Whoa, cool. Well, not cool, you know what I mean? But uh, that's an upgrade for sure. And um, um, 
it, the synchronicity of it was my left eye just water watering randomly and I didn't feel emotion at the time like it just all of a sudden started randomly and um, I'm getting um, I call them pinches and uh, right in the corners usually little pinches and um, no pain just it's like a, there's like a little mosquito just beep, and then goes but there's nothing there um, my eyes are also, um, I'm either seeing like a lot of stuff or, um, I just, I, I, I can't see close up, uh, right now sometimes. Oh, that sucks, Nova. Yeah, are people stressed out because of things going on or just in general, like they just kind of were not feeling like doing stuff? Is it going well, Mike, your new, uh, your new venture? I've been meaning to um, connect with you again in a text and just uh, in between the videos, cause uh, you know, it looks like I'm doing a lot, right? Because there's like three or four videos sometimes a day. But if you calculate how long I'm in there, truly, uh, there's a lot of time in my day that's spent uh, doing other things. Yeah, I can imagine, Nova, um, that that's why today that, that alone feeling then, eh? Just because uh, no matter what, you're you know you're holding the space for them and uh to not be able to have a connection um it takes our energy do some mojo protection around yourself i would play games with you or if i didn't feel like it i would make lily well not make lily rose but lily rose plays a lot of ga plays games She's a trickster and a prankster too. You gotta watch out for her. That's a heads up for like, you know, future times. Just saying. Be nice to have some people she can play tricks on and pranks on besides me. You got snow in Washington. Yes, I'm enjoying my trinkets, Tom. Um, they're my way of uh, anchoring the energies and frequencies um, helps to visualize, helps to wrap um, places with my protection and love. Ooh, 5D says it was weird because it was snowing big giant flakes and then the sun would come out for a little while. I love when that happens. That's so cool, eh? That's, yeah, that's neat. Um, don't forget, eh, some of us, um, are element benders, uh, so, you know, whether you might not realize, you're such a sky watcher, so, I don't know if you've ever looked into that, or even, you know, sometimes it's, uh, us, or the people, you know, around us doing that. Hi, William Hannah. I was just looking at my Hannah drawing today and I was like, oh man, I gotta finish that. Cool, let's start something else instead. <laughs> I tend to have a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff on the go. <clears throat> a lot. Some stuff can take me years to finish. Some stuff I'll never finish. And that's why, um, Nova, when you did your videos, cause I respect you as an artist, like, I know you know, you have, I, if you don't, like, oh. but when you show drawings and you know that you literally said like when you did a certain thing and um, how you, you said like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to finish this one. And to me, because you know, it's not, to me, it looks finished when you're showing it because it's already got like the ooh la la and just like and shivery feeling. Um, but I know what you mean 
from my perspective when I look at something and I know it's not done or that I know that even if it's not quite done that I just I'm over it and I might never get back to it I've got many bead projects that are like just started and we'll see it took a long time as a perfectionist who was never um what do you call it I was not artisty all my life I only thought I could cook and uh so it took a long time for me to start things in my life and uh to not be hard on myself because I didn't finish well Nova no matter what I mean the collective energy uh you can't not be feeling it sweetie and um I don't um I um however my package may look I'm I'm I, I pull on the masculine and um I've always held or just wasn't allowed to cry and so for me I had to learn vulnerability um that's been my biggest um work inner work um one of my best teachers that taught me how to be vulnerable uh was sue the glitch you know he the way he says um that he's always taken the hard road and the hardest path and and uh there was a part of me that like i saw myself so much in that and it and it it triggered me and um pivoted me to learn more about my gentleness and vulnerability and uh and my tears tend to scare people around me or in my life and that don't cry don't cry like so um i've always just had to be brave and and like the same way a man would that the reaction's not the same like it's not because like boys don't cry it's because like if michelle cries everybody's going to like lose it my crown feels like it's going to explode does anybody else have head pain well Tom I've told you before and I know this like sucks to hear sometimes but I don't manifest or have pain inside me very much uh, it, you know I do have incidences where some some things will happen my crown feels like uh, I'm wearing a crown it feels right now like I look at myself because I can see myself through your comments just a little and it feels like my hair is like and I'm really kind of shocked that it's kind of flat hey JW I'm not gonna say I called you in but I did I sent you out an SOS well not an SOS cuz and not a mayday what would be the thing more of a dude come to come see me come see me come see us I'm so glad to see you and Helen <sighs> Woo Love you guys. Hi upside in. I wasn't sure about writing the upside in and then down and around part in the comment, but it just seemed so appropriate because of what's going on and just uh Yeah, I feel the head thing, but it's in a different way where um there's no pain it's really just like that <sighs> there's a release and it feels really good oh thank you I'm glad you loved it because um, I don't try to you know hurt anyone or m make someone feel yucky in a comment so I was hoping it would be uh, taken the way I intended I'm glad it was SS that's exactly how my life is I was told SS says I was told by my boss not to be in a bad mood because it brings everybody down yep yep and or it's the opposite because and when I've worked um, 
I, I never even meant to in my life to be a leader, to be a boss, to be, you know, the head chef, to be the, to manage a whole kitchen, to have my own restaurant. But I'm the kind of leader that leads by example, by being on the ground, you know, I'm with the ground crew. So for example, when I was a chef, um, the first weeks I was working, I would stay till the end of the shift and I would um, do my hot plate. I don't know what you guys call it in English. JW, what's up? Is it called a hot plate? You know, where you cook the eggs and you got the big, you know, it's a big plate. Um, I would clean that myself. And at first people were like, what are you doing? And it's like, what do you mean I'm doing? Like uh, cleaning, like cleaning the plate. And it would be like, chefs don't do that. Uh, well, yeah, I do. Um, and I built teams that, um, I built teams that because I was so solid and did the dirty work for real, that if ever I was like, I would get sent home by my teams, um, my dudes, my minions, my, my, my monkeys, all these pet names I had for my people that worked with me. Uh, they would look at me and say, Michelle, you've been here like six days in a row for 15 hours, 18 Boom. hours. <laughs> see I told you the prankster they would send me home and yeah if Michelle is sad then everybody realizes there's something yes respect is earned um, and respect for me you know my way to roll is you, you automatically get my respect I take it away as as you fuck up and I don't mean you I mean in general and that's something that I do the opposite of what you do but uh Yes, I did put it in a smaller plate, love. Um, Jason, yeah. I don't see any the griddle, yes. Thing. Thank you, JW. Thanks. Yes, that's what I was asking. JW, I can't imagine and I can imagine. Um, are you finding that people are coming to your restaurant as much? Have they started to, you know, be scared to go out? Or are they, are you finding that you're like that gathering place where people feel safe and just need to see each other? I'm really curious about that. I can't, if I had my restaurant right now, I would probably, you know, have, uh, I would probably be keeping it open in ways that the hours weren't even regular, just so people would have a place to gather that feels safe because they were my fam jam, like, it was a family, you know, like, style restaurant, and it would be, like, open, and it would be, like, yeah, I'm sitting down, y'all, like, you want something, go get it, or it's just, like, we're just here for coffee. Mm, thanks, JW. My, my daughter came, and uh, I haven't straightened my hair since last year when I used to do my videos in the, because I gave my, I, I gave it or I sold it for 25 cents, my, my straightening iron. So this is the first time I've straightened my hair since last year. <clears throat> Feels neat to, just that difference. Like, I was going to say I could put my fingers through it, but that's not actually possible at the moment. Um, yeah. When you um, are on your way to work, JW, like do protection around it um, that people coming in um, to the restaurants will feel your intent without maybe you having to verbalize or give so much energy away. If you have specific customers that are your like, you know, your peeps that you know, your regulars, talk to their higher selves. Um, you know, remember when I said talk to, to your kids through your higher self, do the same with your customers if you haven't already started. No, but I never have since last year. Uh, T. Taylor did a video on the crystalline DNA in the hair, so I've been scared to uh, burn my hair off, but I just, I felt like doing it. I felt the different, I just wanted the differentness. To be honest, um, Lily Rose doesn't really brush my hair a lot, or when she does, it's fun. But um, to have Amy brush my hair and actually, like, you know, kind of uh, pamper me, that was amazing. What are you delivering, William? I'm just going to go back in the comments. I don't want to miss anybody. I had a dream about the clown from the movie It and I dreamt it was watching the movie. 
I was watching the movie on the dream. To dream about clowns means I have an inner sadness that is not expressed. Yes, to dream about clowns may say that in the book, but don't forget, this is a shit show. There's a lot of clowns that, you know, are coming down right now. And so it's also very symbolic of what's going on. Um, the fact that you were an observer um, as well, you know, it speaks a lot for the fact that you are an observer and, you know, like, just, you know. Yeah, it was a great book. <laughs> it was a great book. That's another one that I knew off by heart. I never saw the movie and I, I never will. I'm not into that anymore. But I always wondered if they did the end scene like the way it was in the book. Because that was hardcore. Especially for back in the day, hey? And JW, if you don't have food, um, take the time to rest. And if you want to open it and just have people in for coffee, then fuck, even if you run out of coffee and you just... Or, or take the time to just slow down and take the break that you haven't had for so long like you'll know when you know what you need to do for you but yeah it's good that you're not stressed jw uh you've been working on this for a long time there's a lot of you that with your inner knowing that you knew certain things were gonna be coming to you and people coming to you and i think you know what i mean that's how i feel Ask yourself inside, Nova, and uh, you got my, you got me at your fingertips, eh? And um, you know, I, I don't have alerts on my phone. I don't even keep the ringer on. But if you call me in your heart and you need me in the moment, um, I'll hear you. And if I don't, like sometimes just writing it down and knowing that you wrote it down that somebody's going to look at it when they do is a lot already. I'm here for you, sweetie. I really, really am. I love you. And you know what? Something that I used to do because I don't cry a lot and it's not something that I knew even how to do. Um, watching a movie that brings up emotion um, will trigger the, because it's not a, you're, you're focused on the movie, um, and so you got like a bird's eye view of emotion, and then the trigger of the release, because the thing is, is that our tears, water retains memory, they do, like, they do need to come out, and, um, I find that when I do cry, sometimes my tears are so hot. I have to tell them like, slack off, like you're burning my face. I'm gonna be like, like the way I had talked about dragon snot in a video, um, my tears were just as hot and I had to ask them like, tone down, like it hurts, you know, like my face isn't ready for this. It is great to see you guys all, Helen. Is Dom with you or he's left? I forget what the days, what dates were. Wow, that's awesome, Nova. Laughter is the best medicine. If only I had a joke. I thought that was pretty funny in itself, uh, William. <laughs> I'm catching up with the comments here. We help the others as leaders. Yeah, because if you've been through it too, it's not even being a leader, it's being, it's the knowing, the empathy, the compassion, because you've been through it. <clears throat> 50% capacity in New York restaurants, New York, New York, yeah, I don't know, um, I'm not here to plug the videos that I made, but in the, the comments of the last video that I made, <clears throat> you know, it's explained in black and white why all this is going on, whether you choose to believe it and see th see through it and, you know, like, that's your choice. Um, but uh, disclosure is disclosure. And it 
can't happen if other things are put into play. So by blocking anything that can happen, it makes it that the other things can happen. Um, does that make sense? And I'm trying not to use, I'm trying to keep the vibe high. I'm not here to, uh, you know, uh, talk about those things because <clears throat> I just kind of want to chit chat with you guys. It's not about the videos that I made today. If you have certain questions, email me or if you really have one that you want answered, like go ahead. It's not that I'm going to avoid it, but at the same time, uh, just, yeah. Congrats on not frying your hair. Thank you. I'm really proud too. Well, proud. I'm impressed. I, I, I asked myself, like, is this okay for me? And it was like, yes, just keep the setting on low and uh, don't overdo it. JW, it was Pi Day today. I don't know, it's not midnight yet, so it's still Pi Day. Seriously, I thought about you since the moment. It's Jen, Jen's Gems, who sent me a, a picture this morning, and I was like, I knew that was coming up. And I, of course, I didn't remember the numbers, Pi. <laughs> I know, but I knew it was coming up. I could feel Pi in the air. I love that movie, Life of Pi. Which ending do you believe in? Just trying to catch up. You guys are talking. Glitch. Oh my gosh. I just skipped to the bottom. I don't know. I felt like, what? I got that. I was saying at the beginning and how I'm like surrounding myself with all my stuff from all over the world. I got my Cali. California shirt, Ireland, and uh, thanks for coming in. Hi, name that I can't pronounce. I love you too, baby. What can I, what can your nickname be? Put me something, even if it's a letter of what you want me to call you so I can feel more personal instead of just like, that little dude looking at me. Good, let it flow, Nova. I love you. It's like picture my pink loving arms like all around you. I kind of swing back and forth when I cry or when I'm like trying to self-soothe, so just like swing up and down a little bit. Feel us together, okay? Protecting you, surrounding you with love. My little Turkish eye from Turkey. Yeah, I totally didn't fall asleep during the meditation. I got a neck pain and then I woke up feeling like Bleh. But it all like kind of fell into place. I had some stuff I had to uh, face, feel, go through, let through. I got pizza planned for tomorrow. I think it's funny, eh, the way people diss pizza all the time. I, last time I made pizza, all I could think of is like, why are people so hard on pizza? I guess it depends what, you know, what you put on it and where you go for it if you go out. But for me, I see pizza as like, you know, a flower bed for vegetables and cheese. Mm. I don't know. And I buy like good stuff and like fresh stuff and yummy stuff. What kind of pie are you going to make, JW? I 
think my favorite pie is like coconut cream pie. Like not like when it's like really like just with graham cracker crust. That's my favorite. Or lemon meringue with graham cracker crust. Or apple pie. Okay, that's my trinity of favorite pies. And pie, JW, is my uh, Achilles heel. I cannot make pie dough to save my butt. I don't even, like, see it as a challenge of something to conquer. My mom would make my pie dough for me at the restaurant because I bought pie dough before she was like, I'll just make you, like, X amount uh, every time I come through. And it takes her, like, whatever amount of time. And I've watched her do it all my life. And it's the one thing. Like... I hate to go and talk about meat because, you know, I know that that can, like, be yucky for some people. But I can butcher that. Well, I could. I, I don't really anymore. But I could butcher anything. Like, not from, like, you know, the whole calf there. But I, I'd get, like, a slab of meat and, like, you know, like, do things with it. Like, that I don't even know how. But I can't make pie. Well, I can. But I just, I don't, I don't like to. I like making cookies and cake. Cake is my favorite. I'm losing some of the comments. I'm not sure what you mean when I when you rock like that. Don't want to be weird though. What does that mean? Helen says I used to have a third eye ring. Nito. I um I've never really worn rings in my life. When I was married, I was married, we were together for 11 years. I think we were married for eight. I can't remember. If it wasn't for the kids, I wouldn't even remember I had been married. I couldn't even remember my wedding day before. Uh, two years ago, I asked my mother, when did I get married? I know it was in August, but I can't remember when. And uh, yeah, I never was able to wear the, the wedding rings and uh, the, the engagement ring. And they were just like thin little bands and I, like, tiny, like so thin. And I could never wear them. I gifted them to my daughter, um, I think she was 16, and she wears one on her hand, on her other hand, and then one around her neck, <clears throat> and my ex has the ring for my son, I don't know if they've ever, he's ever given it to him, but yeah, my daughter, it makes her feel safe and comfortable where she feels like she has her mom and dad with her. My daughter was three or four when uh, when we got separated, and by the time she was Lily Rose's age, seven, eight years old, she was already looking at me going like, how did you ever even, you know, fall in love with that? You have nothing in common. And to this day, like, she still is like, she'll go hang out with her dad, and she'll come back, and, and she'll be like, I don't understand how you guys, like, even got together. And I was like, well, it was for you guys to, because you were meant to be. And because in the moment, that's what it was meant to be. But yeah, so she's not that girl who like does the dream things of wishing her parents would get back together like at any point in her life ever because she really understood it would not be for our greater good, <clears throat> which is cool. Understanding comes with hindsight. But my daughter's always been kind of, um, she sees through things very well. We went, I went to introduce her to someone the other day, a friend of mine. And, uh, bye upside in, inside out, upside down, you turn me round and round. I don't remember the words. And, uh, she said something to my daughter. My friend was like, I don't know what age doesn't matter and she said to my daughter because it was Friday she's like are you gonna go party tonight and we, me and my daughter looked at each other yeah she doesn't really she's not that kind of girl good night yes I'm a Canada girl la, 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 my little calendar girl because I have a calendar shh don't tell people and I'm not a calendar girl like that kind of girl What's a potluck bag? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, Helen, it does, eh? And, uh, if you, uh, just got that thing where you miss Dom while he's gone and you need some, um, feminine energy to connect with, I'm here for you, eh? Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah, what's a potluck bag? So, I like water, and uh, you might as well put a snack in it, right? I don't feel like chewing right now, but so I put uh, parsley and um, celery leaves, and I, I cut them up small because it gives more flavor, but then I cut them up small sometimes, and it's like, <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, it's a bag of pot. I wasn't sure. I'll call it different everywhere, right? Yeah, see, I was hesitating. I was like, oh, I'm either going to have a smoke a joint just because I don't really often or I'm going to go make a live. And then it was like, oh, go make the live. And I was like, okay. Are you still in here, uh, Glitch? Did you stay for the whole meditation with um, um, in Fascinating Fairies live last night? I can't remember the end now. That's weird, eh? I can't remember saying goodbye. I remember telling her I was speechless. That's what I remember. I know it sounds weird, eh? Love, meat, hate, sugar. Oh man, my ex was like that. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, um, but uh, he didn't have a sweet tooth at all, which is great because we didn't have to fight over the chocolate. You know what I mean? If I bought lots of chocolate, I had to worry about the kids hiding it from them. No offense. Um, but he wouldn't eat my chocolate or candies. But it made it that um, I had to have meat and potatoes, like, all the time. Because that's what he liked. And uh, it made it that uh, one of my things is that thing of... Uh, oh, you know, like uh, making desserts and making people happy because I have made dessert and he would just look at me like not really care and uh, the kids loved it, but he didn't. Driving, ooh yeah, driving. They love driving. I told Lily Rose the other day, like, cause in the winter I just don't go out as much for like random, like just take off and drive and um, I told her the other day, I was like, we, I, I, we gotta get out of here. Even if it's just for a half an hour, an hour, I, I need to hit the road. Like I gotta move in the vehicle and like um, flip the radio. We only have four really stations here, but flip the radio and get those songs that, you know, I can put my playlists on random. I can, you know, look for other stuff, but the randomness of what comes are my my way to follow my me and what's next or what my ideas that come to me are are through and I say random but it's not you know Helen says talking to you beautiful people is help me helping me chill a bit right on Helen I'm glad if I could uh come in and and that we are all gathered together and able to feel that's my intent is just to just blow through and just uh, have a safe place to be together instead of not together you know Thank you, SS, for explaining what you meant. I 
I tend to hold back moving around a lot, which is in my videos, and that's the, my shot. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, I would call it like conserving a part of myself to not, um, I don't even know. I don't really, well, I know why, but I don't know why now. You know what I mean? Like, um, a part of it is just because the way I'm sitting, maybe, but. I noticed the one live I was moving my hands a lot and uh, the energy was flowing more well not more than now but just in general it's flowing more than when I sit there and just make a video which is not good because if I'm holding a little bit of the energy back okay Nova I love you if I'm holding back energy that's not good and uh, I'm just learning I've only been on YouTube for a year right I've only been doing lives for just a little bit. Helen says, I know I'm normally okay, but too many things upsetting me today. It will be fine. I'm going to go with the flow and see what I'm drawn to, spirit, spirit, to spiritually. I mentioned it earlier. All, um, I, I can't remember who. It was one of my, I forget, I think it was Yogi uh, Nefertiti. Uh, she specifically, this morning is one of the, I think I woke up at 11. Because I fell asleep. No, I woke up at 10. I fell asleep at past 4.30. Um, but she's one of the first things I saw when I, around 11 a.m., uh, maybe 12, is that she specifically put a, in a community post, is anyone feeling the heaviness today? Or is it just me? Um, and she was specifying to what point she feels things before the collective. So it was kind of a, she was feeling out, is there anyone that's feeling this? And as a, also like a warning that it might come for other people. And I was one of, I didn't go back today to see how many, you know, other people commented, but I was one of the people that said like, yes, I woke up feeling sad and heavy. I felt that because of the meditation, I know, I didn't feel, I know that some of it was mine, but I felt that when I had gone to bed, excuse me, because I fell asleep and, and, and just so much things came through for me, that I felt that when I laid my head down, that I was emptied of what the meditation was and that I wasn't sure, just like you said, Helen, there's so much stuff going on, right? So I wasn't sure if it was just me or if it was mine. And um, when what, I, what I've noticed about myself and is that when I go into meditations, because I'm such a self-taught, do my own way, my own stuff, that... I'm not sure, like, even if the person doing it is, like, amazing, like, that they protect the space, that me, I didn't protect my space enough. So, I'm never, you know, I wasn't sure, but I, I'm throwing that out there, Helen, so that you, uh, you know, you maybe kind of look within, like, yes, you have a lot of stuff going on, there's a lot of stuff going on for sure, um, but... Sometimes, you know, it is so collective and we feel it first, right? Or at the same time as it's happening. Glitch says he passed out during the meditation. That's awesome. I wish I could do that. I don't think I've ever. I'm hard to fall asleep. Always the last one to sleep in any house, no matter how many people are in it. Um... The only times I've ever I ever fell asleep before um, the the men in my life, my ex husband and Lily Rose's father, is after my C sections, when I would be so drugged up and in so much pain that I would pass out, and uh, those are the only times I ever fell asleep before anyone um, ever. And, uh, like I'm forty eight years old. That's like. 
never fell never fell asleep first and it's not that I don't want to or mean to like I'm very tired and just it's just the way that I was I don't know how I am now uh I'm like that with Lily Rose like she and I you know the way that we live we slept together all summer in a tent right so I can tell by her breathing and because that we were in the tent I was always you know the alert thing of making sure that she's asleep so that I can let go and fall into dreamland. <coughs> I just stuck in my fit. <laughs> Thank you, SS. That means a lot. Uh, I think what's the hardest is that if I had, um, you know, I'm using the two devices because it, right now it's the only thing I know to keep like I'm even looking at my kilobytes here and they're actually like they've never not fluff like my connection is knock on wood is the most stable it's ever been my wi-fi is not going up and down my kilobytes are straight through and uh it's just that and my like these are these are so heavy I don't enjoy them but I can't see anything tonight I'm just my eyes are in like upgrade or whatever, but I really enjoy doing the lives. Uh, I don't know who is going to be like the first person that, that we could do something together, but that that's something that I am really, um, well, I see it happening. I'm just not sure the, you know, who and, and how and when and all of that, but to bounce with someone and have certain things. And then one is reading the comments and like kind of would be really cool. And, uh, I love that, like, I've only done a few, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I don't count them. Most of them are not uploading. Um, I don't come in with the intention of speaking of anything. Um, I like to watch you guys talk amongst yourselves and bounce off whatever's going on in there. It's. That's so far how I'm rolling and we'll see what happens in the future, right? I should switch. I don't know what that means. I wish you could drive to Scotland or Gladsbury or somewhere like that. I need to learn to drive first. Oh, I love driving. You will when you will. Does Dom drive? Dominic? Is it okay that I call him Dom? I don't know. I never asked. I nickname people sometimes and what I've noticed in the last, I don't know, whatever amount of time is when I meet a, uh, I meet, when I connect with a new sister, especially I tend to um, have this name that comes out of me for them as of how I see them and how they feel for me. And um, it, I've been told by people two specific people who are very honest and authentic with me that at first it triggered them. It wasn't like all sunshine and light to feel that name come out of my mouth because it was, you know, the name they were called as a child and had things with or just that nobody ever dared call them that. And, um, but so far I get the green light and I'm allowed. So I think that's cool because I don't mean it yucky. The way Glitch has names for people like people who watch glitch like bravery was you know clark zero zero or i forget the numbers he had and it's glitch that you know knighted um bravery you know and that he you know has integrated it and put it on his channel to what point that that nickname feeling is like a, you know it's, it's special and it's always meant you know in in good uh good intent that makes sense have you ever been to scotland helen go to go to scotland someday going to go everywhere soon 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 borders coming down so put a plan me like it me love it I'm glad if you're doing good, JW. It's a, 
you know, with hindsight, I quit my job. It's been, it's been three weeks now, I think. Things are going slow. I think it's only been three weeks. Um, it would have been, you know, three weeks yesterday. And, um, like, everything that's uh, going on in the reality that I am just explains every single reason of why it was like, boom, uh, had to get that done. And, um, yeah. How old is your daughter, Helen? Is she Lily Rose's age? Lily Rose is eight, January 5th. Yep, I uh, get Lily Rose to slow down or to, to breathe. And we were just talking earlier and she might like, she's listening to us, she's listening to us, she's listening to me. Um, she might say something, but like I said, it, you, you need to get on your butt and we, we do some stretches and, and some actual breathing uh, things. Um, it's important and uh, I, I've, I always let my children choose you know certain things but like I told her if you know with the things that are going on and how just our life is uh, and the things that sh she's been through in the last month months um, it's important she needs it uh, it's it's not a life choice. It's homeschool mama putting down a, uh, that's it, you know. Not in a mean way, but it's all in the music. So used to heaviness, not even sure I notice it anymore. Dude, I totally get it. Um, I totally get it. And that's why, um, I'm sure that's one of the reasons why that you're, you're guided to me and that we have um, that thing the exchange that we can have I know that heaviness and um, the feeling that I had in February I, I didn't think I was going to be able to get out of it um, Fairy when she was talking about that last night how you know, just, she had things and just that feeling of not feeling, after having done so much work, and I, I'll say it again, I know I've said it before, but this wasn't a dark night of the soul. It was not the same thing. It was, it's not that it was more intense. I don't want to, you know, label it or anything, but it wasn't the same. It was like, it was not the same. Fascinating Fairy, um, it, you can check out her channel through, I did a shout out video for the Fascinating Fairy. Uh, as of now, she's been pre pretty regular, Friday nights with Fascinating Fairy. Uh, she does a meditation. Um, uh, and the one from last night, I, you might really um, enjoy it. It might do that thing to... Uh, <sighs> fairy is, honestly, I remember... I found her through Soothe the Glitch. I remember the first time I saw her do light language, I almost passed out. I was like, oh my God, this is what my arms have been asking me to do. And I just kind of toned down my arms because like, who moves like that? Or I was, I just, I don't understand it the way that she does. I just do certain things naturally and don't have the, you know, the, the same knowledge base that she does. But most of the things I do, I have no idea how I do them anyways. Like, I don't know how I, I didn't learn to bead. I just started to bead. I just do it. I don't have the words and explanations and all the stuff behind it. But she, Fascinating Fairy was for me, um, just, she's one of those people, like, we are one. We are also family and more than what's here, more than what we even know. But there are certain people that I've dreamed of since I was a child, and she is one of them. And um, her ability to share her movement, and you know, since then she'll say she's said in videos that it's not as easy as it looks. And anyone who does any videos kind of knows that, you know, 
especially at the beginning or some days. It's not as easy as it looks, but um, I aspire to be as comfortable in my body in front of other people the way that she is. Um, Thanks, Mike. I just went and watched your video, Michelle. It was so powerful and put me in tears of joy and healing. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, whoosh, that, uh, um, even more than ever, you know, <laughs> I know I said it in a video the other day, and I don't remember if it was a live that didn't upload or if it was in a video, but I said if anybody says, you know that we are the ones we've been waiting for i'm gonna shove dragonfly i'm gonna send swarms of dragonflies up their ass i actually deleted the video after because i felt bad for the dragonflies and <laughs> you know poor shitty dragonflies there's not even any toilet paper to wipe them <laughs> but yeah I, I was tired of i'm you know i get impatient with the words that are used so much but are not you know like lived and 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 really like live and breathe those words like believe it you don't just throw around a bunch of stuff and then not step up to the plate like you you know you don't say you're part of a ball team and you know I'm part of the Yankees and I'm like you know I play ball and then don't go when it's your turn at bat or you don't you still go you go pitch when you got to pitch you know and um Jen, Jen's Gems, in a comment today said, you know, uh, on one of my videos, she said, you know, Corona is, is crown, is crowning baby's crown. And I said in the comment, I was like, I had three C-sections. Yes, I know what labor is, but I never got to certain things. I never got to the, you know, the breathing, the, oh, stop, or the push, or stop pushing, or keep pushing. I never got to that. So it's just like, for me, it's like, and this, you guys who have been watching me, I think everybody that's here almost has been watching me for a long time or has seen a lot of my videos is that for me, it's just like, grab that knife, cut me open, let's get her done. Get me out of this hospital, I ain't coming back. Um, so the impatience that I can't tend to portray is the not, you know, not, not knowing and then knowing that these times are coming and that, you know, it's always another, another year, another year, another year, like it does gross me out or has, and you know, it's a to if you look back on videos that people did five years ago, of certain channels, you know, uh, it's the Arcturians were saying the same things about, you know, helping us and being there with us. And I'm not saying it in a mean way or anything like that, but don't you be talking to me about an event, let's make it happen. And you know, the, the, the visually and the preparedness is like, I always understand that the plan and you can't push it, but just that pushy thing inside me. I'm rambling now. Yes, yes I slept in a tent all summer. When I went to my aunt's, we we passed through to my aunt's and she's like, I made up the bedroom for you. And I was like, what? I was going to pitch a tent in the yard. She's like, you're not pitching a tent in my yard. I made up the bed for you. And I was like, okay, do I have to? And it was my aunt. So it was like, yes, she wanted to do that thing that I was finally at her place in New Brunswick, which I had never been to. And uh, we spent... I forget how many days there, but I remember looking at her and going like, I haven't felt so cherished and so able to just be myself. If I wanted to go take a nap, I'd go take a nap. Nobody was like, you know, cause when I'm with other family, I'm not saying it in a bad way, but uh, just that feeling of being myself and not, she doesn't roll her eyes at me and neither does my cousin and, 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 her and the, her kids and Lily Rose, like they got like hardcore cousin time. But yeah, otherwise, except for when we passed through and in Cape Breton, I had a job. I actually found a job at an inn 
And so we stayed seven days indoors then, but otherwise we spent the whole summer outside and uh, in a tent in, I forget what the date was. Forget if it was the end of August or the beginning of September. We were back here. I knew I was having to nest for the winter and we were in a tent on a campground called Dreamy Haven, had a pool. And so the, I was totally guided to go there because I'm from here. Uh, I was coming from here, Nipissing, so I wanted to be by the lake. You know, we've been gone two and a half months, uh, coming back to my lake. But I was totally guided to go to this uh, Haven campground. And so I, I said to the lady, I was like, I'm not quite sure of my plans, like, you know, end of the season like I said it was it was September I said it's the end of the season do you mind if I pay night by night because I just I'm not sure what I want to do so the first night we slept and then when we got up the next day we went to the pool and we were just you know hang out by the pool right and uh that's where we met Kathy um Kathy is an angel that came into my life and um we spoke, uh, she's Christian. She has different, um, you know, she's, she's very wide open perspective, but in her Christian way, which I get along like bread and butter. I don't care what anybody's, um, faith and ways they speak is, but we spoke for hours and then I didn't give her my number. She didn't give me hers. She came to see me and gave me and Lily Rose two hand-knitted blankets that she had in her trailer, a little camper. She gave us two hand-knitted blankets, one for me and one for Lily Rose. And she said, I've had these for two years in this plastic bag. They're clean. And I knew I was keeping them for someone, but I didn't know who. And she gave them to me and Lily Rose. And she left, and we didn't exchange numbers. I know. And so the next day, I was by the pool... And by now, this is my, we slept two nights and this is going to be the third day at the campground. And I'm like, now I'm like, what am I going to do? We never got rained out in our tent or we got rain and then we'd be dry by morning. And, uh, she came back and she looked at, she came up to me and she's like, I was so scared you'd be gone. I, I came as soon as I had a plan. And I was like, what, what do you mean you have a plan? plan like I don't understand and she's like I already know I love you guys I already know I trust you uh you don't have a choice you already told me your story you and Lily Rose are taking my camper for the rest of the until September 30th which is when the campground closes or until you need it and I was like what um she's like yep I was guided to come back you're here uh let's go we're figuring this out and um so instead of being outside in the tent in September when the leaves started changing like and everything was going faster and it was cooler, it was down about eight degrees at night, uh, we had a camper to sleep in until I found my job and my apartment, well, basement apartment. Yeah. Yeah, and Sat Sun says, you slept in a tent. I miss sleeping outside so bad. As soon as it's, like, warm enough, I'm out there. And, like, just on a mat. And I don't mean, like, mats, like, you know, fancy mats. I mean just a basic mat. Like, what a yoga mat thickness is, is all I need. It's just basically so that, you know, if I don't move enough rocks, uh, I just... Uh, after you sleep, like, four, three, three months on the ground, it's really hard to go back to a bed. Very, very, very hard. Oh, uh, thanks, SS. I, I always try to upload them. Um, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Um, you know what I mean? It's not me that's choosing not to upload them. It's really the, uh, you know, because when you've been in here, I don't know if you've ever noticed, sometimes like it just buffers at the end and my comments aren't coming in. And, I, and then I, 
it's like lost. I have to delete it so that it stops buffering and and appearing for people. Michael Joshua Lewis. MJL. True eight Sunday in Sydney. Welcome. Nice to see you. Very nice. Okay, I'm allowed to call him Dom, cool. And he drives, so he'll teach you to drive. You guys are gonna rock out learning to drive together. Um, that's why you never had to before, is because you're gonna have the perfect person and it'll be like this amazing experience where you're just gonna have so much fun. And really, driving is like a liberty, a freedom, and it's just an amazing, I, I consider it a privilege, not a right. And um, I love driving. Hey, Nova. Had a drink of water. I'll come back, baby. Baby, 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 oh, baby. I remember, Nova, you hadn't even made a video yet. And I already loved you. Cause I'm tight again. Like that's how strong it is. How. Yeah. Yeah. I know personally, Helen says that she hasn't been to Scotland, but to see the snow, but, um, Enjoy the boat adventure. If ever there's anything you feel like sharing and uploading, that would be cool. I would love to see uh, that water energy, especially now with everything going on. Water energy, even if you don't talk or say nothing. Beautiful thing to share. Water retains memory. We are all connected by water. Yeah, there's a reason you didn't go to Scotland. It's so you can go in a way that was meant for later for now, for these times. That's what I believe. I've refused international travel for the past four years and I had the chance to go anywhere I wanted and my sister begged me. And, uh, no. Nope. Wasn't part of the plan before and that's, that's my saving the best for last. And not in a way that I haven't lived. I've road tripped across Canada all my life and me and Lily Rose did our, you know, four months east coast so it's not like it's not like i'm holding back and haven't lived my life but i have saved a part of me best for last i knew that i didn't want to be in this you know uh whether it be uh i'm trying to think of places well california uh ireland these are things my sister has gotten me uh arizona i will be in arizona at some point with my sister i do know that i think um, New York, uh, Australia, just all those places, uh, I was like, no, those are not, these are not the times I was meant to go to those countries and, um, and I stand by that. Have a super sleep SS and enjoy your day tomorrow. You deserve it. Totally. Halfway through Nova, that sounds good. I hope it feels good to not be completely just, we're here with you to feel our energy. Yep, Genevieve is Michelle. Michelle is Genevieve. Um, it's not because I was hiding my name. It's because I was guided. And in the moment that I started my channel, uh, anybody who watched my first video, I started off as Eve uh, because I was literally asking my family to call me that as well. And it just never stuck. 
I, I've explained this in videos where I just, I thought I wanted to be done with Michelle. I wanted to be out of my shell, Michelle. Um, a part of me believed I had hell in my name and I just didn't want to feel like I did. Uh, and I thought that if I moved to the second name that I have that, you know, was my birth name, Genevieve is my second name. I thought that uh, I would be more empowered and um, just, and now when I introduce myself to people, I call my, I say that I'm Michelle Genevieve so that uh, whatever aspect of those two names that the people I meet feel best resonate for them with me uh, is what they can so choose to call me. Um, so I've, integrated the both together and uh yeah if I go and start asking y'all to call me Marie could you just please tell me to like lay off like okay five names is like a lot for a little pint size like me but let's not move on to the third like that's too much because that's my third name third name I see you guys talking stuff. I'm not sure like exactly like because you're talking amongst yourselves. So I'm not going to read it out just because I can't be clear on exactly what. I'm not sure who she is. I think it's me, but. Michael Joshua Lewis says, I shall watch it if it comes up with your recommendations. Yeah, um. Eddie, uh, road trip Eddie, he, you know, suggested and informed me, you know, that if I do certain things, then I'll get more, you know, like recommended or more stuff. Um, like I'll pop up in different places more. Um, I don't know if they're the hashtag things that y'all talk about. No, I know that's Twitter, I think. Um, but I don't have a computer. Actually, I have two computers, but they just need a tech-savvy person to clean them out and do whatever tech-savvy people do to computers so that they actually work. And uh, um, so I don't have the browser. And, you know, again, uh, it, Bridget said she figured it out and she actually texted me and emailed me um, how she got on to... Um, what do you call it? Um, uh, so that my videos don't have the, you know, have the child thing on it saying that they're not recommended for kids, but it doesn't matter what I do. I just can't get to it. And uh, whatever. Some videos have the comments turned off. It's not a big deal, right? Yeah, Mike, it's major gratitude for the White Hats. It's a... Uh... Like you saw it in the video. Um... We all have our perceptions. We all have the things we've been guided to, to have... Um... We all have our inner knowings. And... Um... those things that um, I've always known it's the I read it somewhere today and it and I was like oh man because often I've said there's it how have I said it I don't remember exactly but I say something like in general, like if you're not ready to play your role, like move over, somebody else will, or oh, it's okay, somebody else will. And um, I read today that it was like, God didn't make a plan B. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, you know, everything, um, 
know, the, it's like I said earlier, uh, you know, we use these words like 144, we are the ones we've been waiting for, disclosure. Disclosure has been happening and is in place and to start to, there's just, it's about anchoring the energies, the frequencies and the light and just to have faith that everything, that you're in the right place, that the people that are, I've said it before, the dark, the brightest keys to ascension are hidden in the darkest places that some of the people that are considered and have been, you know, are even now to this day on channels, you know, said certain things about. It's like when you watch a movie and it's actually so amazing that you had no idea what was coming and the bitch slap of thinking that the person who was evil was actually the person all along making sure. Wasn't that how Harry Potter, wasn't that at one point? I can't remember, I only watched it once. I read all the books, but I can't remember. Um, Cause I was, I was, I read them all, but I didn't like become a Potter fan, you know, but the people that you think, so to let go of all the judgment, all the judgment, all of it, because it's not even going to be a time to be like, oh my God, like I feel bad that I thought that or like what the, it's too late for all that. It's just have faith. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about the white hats because they make me happy. And, um, you know, if you go back, I think it was a month ago where I said military is coming, you know, from Petawawa and they were going to the west and they were going to the east. And, you know, I went up to the guy and I was like, hey, thanks for ser your service. And where are you guys going? Am I allowed to ask? You know, I made that video. I showed it. Um, I saw the look in their eyes. I know who I can tell in those people because they were like, right in front of me. I could smell them. And not in a way that because they smell creepy. I could tell who is like, and just, I know. And, um, yeah. You stop now. I guess my peanut pasture is entirely gone now. Right on. Okay, Nova, I get it if you need to sleep for sure. And that's, I totally get it. I pass through. Like I said, if you need me, um, you got me at your fingertips on uh, on our thing that we have, okay? All right, on JW. I haven't had that. Um, you know how people will say that. Oh, people will come back into your life and um first of all like every time that there's like you know mercury retrograde and people say that that's a common time for people coming back into our life and dealing with things or whatever um those things that haven't happened to me or and in so long that it feels good because it's like whoa i really have like those things those doors really were closed Is it working? I'm basically coming in so I can try and save it. And uh, I wasn't, I'm, I haven't been able to connect without having two, div two devices and my other one's dead. So like I said, I, if I can save this live, um, I'm going to upload it, let it upload, and uh, thanks for being here, guys.